Hello and welcome back to the channel. In this video I'm going to show you how to sew allium bulbs. Um, in this particular example I am going to be sewing allium ping pong. Now these are beautiful flowers. Um, they, they, they grow up to about 100 centimeters in height and they have this wonderful white flower uh, which will last for several weeks and even once when the flower dies back it leaves behind a the, the, the flower ball uh, which you can still keep in your garden for decorative purposes uh, and they still look wonderful so but what I'm going to show you is how to is how I grow these and a bit of a tip uh, for you to to take away before we get started don't forget to subscribe to the channel and share this video with your friends and family when I'm planting bulbs, what I like to do is usually start them off into small pots like this. Now the reason why I do this is because not every bulb in the packet will germinate. And if you plant them into your border, your expectation is for it to germinate and be part of a bigger picture. Uh, whereas if you grow them into pots, um, you will see what has grown and what hasn't. And obviously the ones that don't grow, you can get rid of. And the ones that do grow, they can become part of your border. The other benefit of growing these into pots now is a lot of borders this time of year are still full so you're not really going to know uh, what these will look like next year unless you have a grand plan or a grand design um, then you might do but you're better off growing these in, in pots letting the borders die back over winter and then come early spring you can plant your flowers in. With that being said let me show you how to plant this up correctly. The first thing to do is fill your pot up with fresh compost. What I would suggest here is once you've filled it up, press the compost down. What a mistake a lot of people make is they don't press the, the compost down. And when, when they water it, the water will absorb the compost and everything will just shrink down, um, not giving you true depth for the bulb. So press the compost down so it's nice and firm, not, not too tight so the water can't drain through but give it a nice press. Once you've prepared all your pots and filled it up with compost, before you start planting up the bulbs, what I would suggest is check the bulbs once you've taken them out of the packet. Now I see that a lot of people make the mistake of just putting them straight into the compost uh, once they've taken, taken them out of the pack. Now not every bulb will be fit for purpose, so some may be damaged, some may have rot, and they just won't grow for you. Now I've had a quick look at mine, now, most of them look good, with the exception of one that i seen in here. So, let me give you an example. This has been cut in half, so this is not going to give me any decent flower. So, I'm not even going to waste time potting this one up. So, always go through all your bulbs, making sure they have no rot, they're not damaged in any way, and they, and they feel firm when you press them. That's what you're looking for. To plant allium bulbs, just make sure that the the pointy side is facing upwards, and just place them in the middle of the pot like so. Once you've positioned all your bulbs, now it's a simple case of getting compost and just cover them, covering them, like so. Um, don't cover it right to the top. Just cover them and then press them down. Now the reason why you don't want to cover the soil, bring the soil right to the top here is because when you water it, the water will just run off the sides. It's not going to go down into the bulb and the soil. So make sure there's about at least a centimeter from the top there. Go ahead and fill up all your compost. Once you've finished potting your allium bulbs, your pot should look something like this. The soil should be nice and firm and you should have at least a centimeter from the top. The only thing left to do is to label them and water them. Once you've labeled it up and you've watered, watered it nicely, you can leave these outside now. They don't need to be inside a greenhouse. They don't need to be taken inside. You can leave them in your garden. Um, you can leave them over winter and from around about February, March time, you will start seeing some growth. And that's when you know that you're plants have been growing successfully over winter and when they get to a certain height you can then find a lovely place for them in your border to give you a fantastic display over summer. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thank you.